Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walters World and we're in my favorite museum in Oslo, my favorite place to go in Norway, with the Viking Ship Museum. And today what we have for you are the five things you're going to love and hate about visiting Oslo. Now I'm going to go enjoy my favorite museum and let's go outside to see some of these hates and a lot of these loves. So bye from the Viking Museum. <laughs> So we've left the Viking Museum and now we're at the Norwegian Folk Museum. And yes, I got my little Viking helmet here because the first thing you're not going to like about when you come to Oslo is there's still some of that Viking spirit in terms of the customer service you get here in Oslo. Look, the customer service here is not super great, I'm not going to lie to you. The people will help you out if you ask and that's the key thing, you have to ask for help. But no one's going to go out of their way to help you. Uh, stores, restaurants, no one's going to be overly friendly, overly getting you extra stuff, so just be kind of prepared to kind of offhand service because they get paid very well. Though you do tip them, you know, five or ten percent, it's still nothing compared to their base salaries when you go to restaurants, but just know that the service is a bit more Viking than friendly, okay? The second thing you might not like about when you come to Oslo is you hear about how Oslo and Norway is so rich and so well off and everyone's equal and stuff like that, which is true, but you will see an awful lot of beggars on the streets when you're walking through Oslo. If you're going, you know, uh, Carl Johan's Gate, walking through there to the palace, there will be beggars around. So just be prepared for that. All you have to do is tell them no, no thank you, please, no, and they'll leave you alone. But just know you might feel a little uncomfortable sometimes when you see beggar after beggar and you're like, wait, I thought Oslo was a little bit more Scandinavia than, you know, Southern Europe kind of thing. So that's probably the second thing you might not like. The third thing you might not like about coming to Oslo is yes, it is Norway and it is cold here, but also if you look at it in terms of the weather in general and the darkness that happens in the winter, look, the winter, there's two reasons to come here. One, go skiing, or two, go see the Northern Lights, which are totally awesome and well worth seeing. But in general, winter months here, it's cold, it's wet, it's snowy, and it's not very enjoyable to do that. In the summertime, it's cool because you got a lot more light, but the stores don't stay open any longer, or you know, and some of the museums stay open a little bit longer, but not that much more. So you can stay out in the daylight till 10 or 11 at night, but still the museums are closing at six, okay? So just be prepared for that as the weather here isn't so good. I mean, we're here at the end of May. Look, I've got a hooded shirt, I've got my jacket, and I'm not warm at all, okay? So that's the third thing you're not gonna like is the weather. And the fourth thing you might not like about Oslo is you can get a little bored here because a lot of people expect Oslo to be this huge big capital city like a London or a Paris or you know a Stockholm almost but Oslo is actually relatively small which is cool because you can get around and see everything very easily but you might get a little bit bored because you're like wait is there more to do and it's not that there's not more to do it's just that the things here are so expensive it will limit the going out potential the number of museums you're going to go to and that's kind of things that can kind of lead to the boredom is you can't afford to do a lot of the things here okay so you get bored from that, which leads us into the fifth thing you're not going to like, and actually the only thing you're really not going to like about coming to Oslo and Norway in general. And, well, let's go to the Royal Palace and you can see there, because you're going to need to be rich like a king to truly enjoy Oslo. So now we've moved to the Royal Palace here in Oslo, and the fifth thing you're going to hate about coming to Oslo, and this is the biggest hate, okay? The other things were just little tiny things. This is the biggest one that's going to have the most effect on you as a tourist, is it is, oh my god, expensive here. 10 to 20 dollars for a beer in a bar whoa hotel rooms transportation entries to the museum that's why you're i'm talking about the oslo card you want to get these things the oslo pass you want to get these things because it is very expensive here i am not going to lie to you this is the most expensive place i have been and I, i'm like oh man and i remember the first time i came here the first time i came to oslo was in 1995. I was here with my mom, okay? And I, I mean, I, we had a great time here. But the thing is, even when I was, you know, 18 years old, I'm like, this seems kind of pricey. Now think about it. High school kid noticing something is expensive when their parents are paying. Yeah, that's how expensive it was 20 years ago. Now it's even more so. Okay, so when you are coming here, be careful with the money. So what I recommend, and your hotel, they're gonna give you a good, they do good, good breakfast here at the hotels, eat a really big breakfast or have it a little bit later so it can fill you up and only have either one meal during the day or what you're going to do i could say have a lunch meal because they'll have lunch deals in a lot of restaurants so you can kind of save a little bit of money there 
or what you do is you go to one of the shops and get some food or you do what the locals do and you get one of their hot dogs here which the locals will say you have to have a you know a Norwegian hot dog and you'll see like sometimes like a normal hot dog it's just kind of a special sauce on it sometimes but you'll see it sometimes it has like a tortilla wrapped around it or a pancake wrapped around it I mean they're okay they're better than the ones in Sweden but they're not better than the ones in Denmark Denmark wins hands down best hot dogs in Scandinavia sorry Norway I'm dropping the mic on that one Danish hot dogs but here they're okay so you're gonna to try to find these little things to save some money and what's cool is here in Oslo you can do a lot of walking around and kind of taking the beauty of the stuff for free okay so make sure you take advantage of that but the thing you're gonna hate the most about Oslo is it is oh my god expensive okay so those are five things you're not gonna like about coming to Oslo but what are you gonna love about coming to Oslo and the first thing I'm gonna say you're gonna love is the kind of Norwegian Nordic history you do get here in Oslo with some of these great museums the Viking Ship Museum, where you can go see the three longboats. I remember the first time I came and saw that 20 years ago, and I saw it again today, and I'm like, oh, it is still so awesome. And you really feel like, yes, I want to be part of this Viking culture. It is really cool. And right by there, you have the Norwegian Folk Museum, so you can see how Norwegians were back in the day, you know, because they re rebuilt the houses. They have the interpreters there that will show you how things are done, shops, stuff like that. So you can get more of the background and a feel for what Norway used to be like. And they are very proud here in Norway, so they put a lot of pride into their history, into their folk art and all these kind of things. And there are other cool like Norwegian history kind of things here. You can go to the Kontiki Museum where a Norwegian guy you know, sailed from Peru to Polynesia to prove, hey, you know what, maybe they did go that way. Or you can go to the Frome Museum and see where the explorers went down to south, you know, to the to the Antarctic and went to the South Pole and those kind of things. Or you can go to the Akurhus Castle. I know I'm saying it wrong, but you can go to the castle here or the fortress and see that, see the palace part of it, see the history of it. I mean, they do a really great job of celebrating Norwegian history here and it's really cool because the museums live up to that so that's one thing you want to do is check out as many museums as you can which goes into the second thing you're going to love about coming here is the oslo pass yes it is a little expensive but you know what everything here is expensive and this oslo pass makes your life so much easier okay now what it'll do is give you free transportation and free entry to most of the museums so you can go see these things that i just talked about you can go in there for free now not all of them are covered but most of them are okay and if you're going to be taking the the ferry over to the the viking viking ship museum or the norwegian folk museum you, you, it, it, the ferry's covered in it too so that's kind of cool so the first thing is seeing all this history and these museums and stuff like this and the second thing is that oslo pass or oslo card which makes your life a lot easier to get around so the third thing you're going to like when you come here is if you're a tourist what are the two things you love the most people speaking english and being safe and getting around easy all three of these things you can do here in Oslo. Again, that Oslo Pass, the Oslo car thing, that actually does help you get around with the buses and the trams and uh, helps you get around with all the public transportation. But also, Oslo is a very easy city to get around. It's not very big. You can walk and see all these things. Now, you can't walk to the peninsula. You take a ferry over, but you can get around and see all the things, all the main sites very easily. And what's cool is if you have questions, you can ask people. Most of the young people do speak English here. Even the old people speak English here. No, I don't think it's as, as, as big as in Sweden, but honestly, you're not going to know a difference because a lot of people will speak English here and it's safe. You're going to feel safe, not just in Oslo, but anywhere in Norway, you're going to feel safe when you're going around. Now, late night, you know, Friday, Saturday night, just like anywhere in the world, there's going to be drunk people out there. So pay attention. Okay. So pay attention to those drunks, but otherwise super safe, speak English, easy to get around. I want to put those all together as number three. Now, the fourth thing you're going to love about Oslo is yes, I talked about how cool this city is with the, the history and stuff, but What's cool is you can actually get outside the city very easily, 20 minutes, and you're in a forest to go hiking. You're here in the winter, you can go skiing. Heck, you can go see the ski jump. I don't think they're going to let you do the jump. Maybe one of the little ones, but not the big one. But you can go see the ski jump when you're here. I mean, it's really cool to get out into nature. It's a big city. You come here for a city weekend, and you get to have a nature weekend too. It is really a great combination. And with that outdoor stuff, it's really good for kids. Easy to get around, nice and flat, very accessible. If you're pushing strollers or, or wheelchairs or whatever, it's very easy to get around here. I know I'm thinking about bringing some of my wheelchair students here because it's really easy for them to get around. I mean, it's really cool. So that's the fourth thing is easy to get out and enjoy the nature when you're here, but also still easy to get around in the city, which kind of ties three and four together. And the fifth thing you're going to love about Oslo is walking around town. Whether you're walking down Carl Johans Gate and seeing the shops there or going to the National Museum to see the scream, you know, ah, no, I'm not talking about Home Alone. Well, ah, 
Edward Munch, okay, the screen there, or the, or the Munch Museum. Or you can go to the Freedom Center here where they have the Nobel Prize. The Nobel Peace Prize is actually given out here in Oslo. The rest are given out in Stockholm. That's here and that's a really cool place to go to see the history of the Peace Prize. I mean, there's all kinds of great stuff to do just wandering around. So that's the fifth thing I love. The museums, you know, the, the Peace Center, walking around the old town, seeing the palace, seeing all these things and taking it all in. And Oslo is a really cool place for a weekend, but again, super pricey. Just, just know, super pricey. You can get over that, it's well worth a stopover. Anyway, I hope you loved our five hit love and hates of Oslo. If you have your own love and hates, please put it in the comment section below so we can have some more fun. And if you like videos like this, why don't you click that subscribe button? Because then every week you'll get new videos, 10 things that'll shock you about Norway, top five things to see and do in Luca, Italy. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff coming out from us and we really appreciate your subscriptions and your likes because you can go click that button too. I mean, if you got the time and we really appreciate it. Anyway, I'll say bye from Oslo in front of the Royal Palace. And I hope you love Oslo as much as I do. And I'm sorry about the hating that price so much, but man, it's pricey here. Bye.